Let's see. Let's go back to Decker. He w he was stabbed. You were really unfazed by that. Deck Doctor Decker was stabbed to death. It, yeah, we're not gonna have a conversation with that about that apparently. She's really unfazed by the, everything about that. Uh, how... How long... Have you known Decker? Uh, when did you last see Decker? What... What do you... Do for work? Have you been listening to me? Ask me something about my problem. Okay then, problem. I'm not really sure about that. Tell me about your problem. Don't know. <laughs> Alright, uh, how do I ask about this, this saleswoman then? The saleswoman was smiling. Nope. I'm Lacey Hendricks. So you don't know about me then? No, I do not know about you. Where to start? My next door neighbor in Jobson Hill, where I live, she was murdered. 80, and they diversion burgled her. But she was wise to it and started calling the police. They slit her throat with a bread knife. So I started a neighborhood watch. They slit her throat. I should ask Lacey about the neighborhood watch. Yeah. Uh, I can't help but wonder if, if she's constantly watching everyone and she's the neighborhood to watch and she's witnessing all these bad things happen. What if she's actually the one doing them? And then, then they manifest as these strange things like a Medusa and stuff like that. Slits her... Oops. Slits her throat. I suppose I could tell you, but I don't have all the gossip. Ooh, as one of the random results, that's a slightly creepy one. All right. Tell me about the neighborhood... Oops. Neighborhood. Watch. It was me and Agnes. Everyone else thought we were overreacting. If they want their throats cut, that's up to them, living in their bubbles. But Agnes... Poor Agnes. Who killed your neighbor? Keep asking, but I don't know. Agnes is different, right? Because Agnes got killed by this Medusa, but some, but your neighbor, your next neighbor, got their slow, their their throat slit. I didn't have much luck with him. Like I said, he didn't believe me. He thought I was having a, a, a hallucination caused by the stress of my neighbor being so brutally murdered. Where is Agnes, though? I haven't found her, have they? Have they? I mean, that seems like it's a question, but I don't know the answer to whether they found you. Uh, Decker didn't believe you? Found the body. <laughs> that sounds like something. Nope. See, what if I say yes, they found the body? What? That can't be possible. Is that true? Why don't I know about it then? When was this then? Is she alive? Her useless husband is. This may have been a dangerous path to go down, but I committed because I don't have information. Uh, I don't think I can ask anyone about Agnes really to f to be able to tell in the first place. It make it didn't really make sense the body would be missing in the first place. Uh, she said that the door to door salesman walked up to Agnes, looked her, looked at her, and then Agnes collapsed, and then she walked away smiling, but like that. She didn't actually, I don't, unless I'm misremembering, I don't think her story actually explained 
anything about Agnes disappearing, just that she collapsed dead. I don't know. I didn't answer the door. Best not to nowadays. But I watched her go to Agnes's. Poor Agnes. She let her right into her house. I saw it with my own eyes. What more proof do I need? You're starting to sound like Dr. Decker. He didn't believe me either. What do I do here? What? That can't be possible. Is that true? Why don't I know about it then? When was this then? Is she alive? Her useless husband is. Uh, I really wish I could find information about this. How do I? I don't think I can, do I? I'm just like going down a, a potentially dangerous path. I can't commit too heavy to this because then I could just be gaslighting her if they never found the body. If I'm just like making her sound like the crazy person, that's like a really bad thing to be doing as a therapist. I feel like I shouldn't even be pursuing this entire idea. What? Sorry. Her husband? Have we talked to her? Talk to him? Don't know much about him. Other than the fact that he looks at me like I'm six foot under every time we meet. He doesn't seem too bothered she's gone missing either. He did at first, when the police were crawling around. But now they've gone, that stopped. If I hadn't seen that thing eat her, I'd... So this person has been behaving differently ever since the police stopped poking around. Do you think he killed her? That's not really a- Do you think the husband killed Agnes? No. He's a weasley little man. He spends far too much time in his garden. It's probably like the National Trust back there. The constant digging and building, pruning and sawing. I bet you that she's buried in the garden. I suppose I could tell you, but... He's sawing in his garden. What a thing to say. Why would you say that? I kept watching the front door after that saleswoman had left and nothing. She didn't leave and you can't get out the back since the council sold the garage block. Ron's a gardener, not a killer. Unless... Unless? Agnes said Ron was laying the foundations for a new greenhouse. You don't think... She... You... Do you think she's... Buried under the greenhouse? I need to call the police. I, I need to call them now. But they won't listen to me. I tried to tell them about the monster, but they didn't believe me. They won't believe me about this, I promise you. Please, could you call them, Doctor? This is... I'm already pushing her too far, if because, like, this could be super dangerous feeding into the fantasies of someone that needs help. I don't know. But then again, I can't take too much responsibility because I'm not a trained psychiatrist. I'm just playing one in a video game. So, let's go. Uh, yes. I'll call them. I want to see where this goes. Thank you, Doctor. Now give me a pen and I'll write down the details for you. Don't you want to know why Dr. Decker called me the leech lady? Uh, excuse me, the leech lady? He said that I leech thoughts from people. Suck them right out of their heads. And I can put thoughts in there, too. I'm not that clever, though, am I, Doctor? I mean, it's not as if I was having an affair with Ron and... 
Agnes was in the way and needed to disappear. So I made this story up. I mean, what do you think I do for a living anyway? Excuse me? This went down a path, didn't it? I mean, the mix it gets with the Medusa thing, if, if it's just made up. She's acting crazy about the entire thing. This is some dangerous territory then. Uh... What is your job then? Keep asking. What is your job? I'm not really sure. What is your line of work? Don't know. Where do you work? Have you been listening? To you literally just, like, <laughs> inferred. He said that I leech thoughts from people. Suck them right out of their heads. And I can put thoughts in there, too. I'm not that clever, though, am I, Doctor? I mean, it's not as if I was having an affair with Ron and Agnes was in the way and needed to disappear. So I made this story up. I mean, what do you think I do for a living anyway? Are you... Caps, you a gardener? No, nope, that's not working out. Uh, I don't know what you do for a living. For a living. Sorry, I've not. It's not working at all. That's frustrating. Okay, uh, you were having. Are you having an affair? No, I can't. Well, this isn't really working. Suck out thoughts. Keep asking. I'm not really sure. Well, this isn't working at all. Did he add a note to my thing? No, it's just Neighborhood Watch. Should I, should I bring up Neighborhood Watch again? Made up story? I suppose I could. Made this story up. Don't know. You are, ah. Uh, <laughs> this dialogue system can get very frustrating sometimes. Okay. He said that I leech thoughts from people. Suck them right out of their heads. And I can put thoughts in there too. I'm not that clever though, am I, Doctor? I mean, it's not as if I was having an affair with... Are you having an affair with Ron? Did you kill Agnes? Have you been li- A little frustrating. <laughs> it's a little frustrating how these are somehow not questions they expect me to ask her. How are we doing on the responses? 32 out of 259. Was it, what was it, 300 last time was the total? A different progress. 1% act progress, because none of the progress I'm doing is related to questions like that. At midnight each day. Oh, why has that happen over and over again? Weird. Let's see here. Unavailable. What is going on here? How am I missing this? He said that I leech thoughts from people. Suck them right out of their heads. And I can put thoughts in there too. I'm not that clever though, am I, Doctor? I mean, it's not as if I was having an affair with Ron and Agnes was in the way and needed to disappear. So I made this story up. I mean, what do you think I do for a living anyway? This, uh, pier? <laughs> that sounds like something I should know about. Are you a police officer? That's not really a... Okay. What do I do with this one? Yes, you are clever. No, I can't really... Not even that. I feel like I've addressed every single phrase that she says in that sentence. How am I not there? This <laughs> hint cool down. I'm getting. I'm, I, I need to follow up on this. 
Oh, I haven't asked about Valentine's still? I was at Heavenly Church. They had a service that ran right up till midnight. For us less fortunates without a love in their life. Well, now. Do you have someone, Doctor? Do you have a love in your life? No, I have no one. Sorry, I've not heard anything. No, I do not have love in my life. Garden Club. You should come with me one night. It's a lovely way to meet new people. Excuse me, Garden Club? So you're a gardener? Have you been listening to me? You garden. No, I can't really. You just, you said garden club. And you, and we talked about somebody being buried in the garden. This is like a non-negligible issue. What's is going on here? Okay. You're giving me a little bit of frustration here. What do I do with Leech Lady? I just don't know what phrase I'm supposed to do to continue here. It's driving me crazy. She asked what I, do, what I think she does for a living. Maybe she's unemployed, or maybe she sells double glazing. Is that where you need to go with this? Do y you sell double glazing? Doctor, you're so good. We're going to get on just fine. So the idea is that she's the one who was the Medusa, basically, which is what I suggested in the first place. I just didn't know what direction to freaking go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so the double glazing was the way to go. Yeah, you, d you have to do some gymnastics with the stuff. You probably would have... In real life, she probably would have been like... Would have immediately reacted to me accusing her of the murder. But those aren't acceptable inputs. We have a green dot, interestingly. Okay. There's some context there. Let's start with... Go back to Nathan, because we talked about talked to him most recently. Ask him if he's looping. Are you looping? I've got... I don't know. Nope. Not happening this time. Okay. Tablet. Can't help you. Sorry. Can't even ask about the tablet. Okay, then Valentine's Day. That's not real. Valentine's night. I left Henley Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Yeah, we're leaning heavily into the Cthulhu stuff, aren't we? They found cephalopod... Uh, strange cephalopod relics around. Also, multiple incarnations of archaeologists in this story. And we have this... Uh, this maybe suggests that the stuff that... Uh, the other guy was finding... Uh, that I was growing names... Bryce, working at the as a grave digger, uh, the relic that he found that he that he lost at one point, he thought might have been like a queen or something. What if it was like a little figure of an old god or something like that that was a, that was eroded and hard to recognize, and maybe that's why the place got closed down for archaeological finds. And then Bryce was talking to them about that. Archaeologists. Pass. Octopus? It's a sea creature, like an octopus. I suppose they find dinosaur bones everywhere. Just because we're on land now doesn't mean millions of years ago this place wasn't at the bottom of the ocean. That is very, very specifically true. Dr. Decker was stabbed. Dr. Decker felt that Hannah was holding me back. The memories of Hannah. In his opinion, I was holding on to the past. 
So I guess he cursed me. If that's even a thing. Cursed you? Yes, Dr. Decker cursed me. I don't really want to talk about it, but let's just say I blame him for the way I am. Can you give me some advice, Doctor? Now I've got some... Now I've got this uh, possible suggestion of motive, then. What would, uh, what would you like help with? Sorry. Yes, advice. I've been trying to think how I can get past today. I've come up with a couple of choices. I could set fire to Hannah's photographs. I've got them in Dropbox, anyway. But setting fire to the clothes did the trick. Or setting fire to a rocking chair. She sounds like an old lady, but she loved that rocking chair. Which I've not sat in since. Which one do you think's best? Um, if you've already got digital copies of the photos, it makes more sense to burn the photos, I suppose, because they're just another copy of a thing that you have copies of. But, that might mean that it won't work. It's possible that the photos won't work because you already have a copy of them, in which point, in ca which case you don't accomplish anything. But burning the chair just kind of sounds dangerous at some point, too. It's a much larger fire, ultimately, perhaps. You, you could try burning the photos. Photographs it is, then. I'll let you know how it goes. I mean, I suppose it has to work, right? If it doesn't work, then he loops, and then the photos aren't lost in the first place, so I guess that's okay. Let's loop back to what he was doing on Valentine's. I left Henley Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Yes, I should ask... Jaya. Should I know something? No, it's fine. Let's see... You were at Henley Church? That didn't really help, okay. Why were you at Henley's church? Is this a religious thing, perhaps? I don't know about much? Okay, fine. No, I am not accusing you of murder. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm only... asking... Asking questions. Sorry. No. Can't up you. No. Murder. Murder. Bad. Do. Not. Murder. Please. That's not- It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I left Henny Church about 11 o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Well, did you murder... Decker? That's... I did... B -b -b like, nothing I can go on here. Alright. How are you? I'm an I'm a psych I'm a psychiatrist that never asks these basic questions. Hello again, Doctor. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. Yesterday I set fire to Hannah's clothes in the garden. I I just wanted the day to move forward. I instantly regretted it. And lo and behold, here we are, a new day. Hannah's clothes are part of ashes. Talk to me about regret. Pass. You regret burning the clothes? I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. It's just the clothes. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another, and only buy stuff she loved. I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favourite season was. Does it matter? What's your favourite season, Doctor? 
Fall is the king of, of seasons. I thought you'd be an autumn person. That means you're supposed to be grounded and productive. And you like your space. Get out of my head. I'm the psychiatrist. No. Let's see. Burning the clothes worked? Nope, that's not the right way to go. What's your favorite season? I like winter. Being snowed in with Hannah. Just the two of us. That's paradise. Paradise? Sorry. Alright. It's not going anywhere. You read horoscopes? I don't know what you're talking about. Just seem like what they're talking about, like judging people's personalities based on what seasons they like and stuff like it's a buzz. F oh my god, are you a buzzfeed reader? Get out. I'm not religious, but when I wrote Hannah's epitaph, I knew her parents would want some acknowledgement of the great bearded one. But she was an angel to me. She was an angel to everyone. I said God, and so now that's permanently burned on the side of my screen <laughs> because it was actually, it actually went somewhere. She was an angel? Hannah was an angel? Nah, I think that's a dead end. But yeah, he actually did respond to the questions about God. I should ask people. I should ask people to introduce themselves. How their day is going? Uh, Valentine's Day. Decker was stabbed, and God are probably on a list of things I should try to ask everybody. Basically, let's see here. Let's try that actually. So God, copy. Let's just ask everyone about God real quick. That sounds like something I should know about. Yeah, you probably should know about God. It's just as a, a concept. Nope. Nope. Do you believe in God? <laughs> Do you believe in God? Medusa. <laughs> Interesting correlation. That's not something I know about. Really? You don't know about God? Okay. I have no idea. Just want to see how different characters might react. Sorry. Actually, I should double check. I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, I should actually wait it play out because saying sorry, no, could be in the they just don't believe in God. There's very little I'm not willing to talk about, Doctor. But I'm afraid I don't know anything about that. Um. Nope. Well, I thought I'd give it a shot. It worked with Nathan, and I'm like, well, this could be a line of questioning that might affect a whole bunch of different people, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Oh, well. So I need to poke deeper with Nathan and figure something out here. I've kept almost all of her stuff as she left it. It's just the clothes. I've decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another, and only buy stuff she loved. I was left with winter. I don't even know what her favorite season was. Does it matter? What's your favorite season, Doctor? I said what my favorite season was already, so, uh, charity? Hannah was forever giving to charity. Her things, her time, our money. I actually suggested a charity that Dr. Decker mentioned called Mindstretch Outreach. Uh oh, you thought you did something that he said. That's probably not a great idea. Try to go there, though. Mind Stretch Outreach arranges programs for gifted children. It's for poor, clever kids who can't afford private education. It's not much of a charity, I guess, but it certainly ends up with a lot of clever people who are thankful to the people running it. Which, in this case, is Dr. Decker. Decker ran a charity. And you went with it? Mind Stretch Outreach arranges gifted children, what, like an Xavier Institute? Should I know something? Should I know something about the thing you just said? Yes. Mind Stretch Outreach arranges programs for gifted children. 
It's for poor, clever kids who can't afford private education. It's not much of a charity, I guess, but it certainly ends up with a lot of clever people who are thankful to the people running it. Which, in this case, is Dr. Decker. You said thankful. I don't know. Nope, that's not happening. Okay, it's worth a shot. Uh, I think I more or less t t was able to take care of the... Uh, the clothes stuff. Let's see. You kept... Hannah's... stuff? Sorry, I don't know. Is it me or did it just really get cold in here? Cold? Sorry. I <laughs> Actually... Uh... Yes, it is a bit chilly. Sorry. No, but I think that's just a random one. I've picked up on stuff from those before and actually went somewhere before, so I wasn't really sure. Let's change from stuff to things, just in case. Not going anywhere. Alright, 